There is an extension to the drunk walking around. This is actually a graphical application, so it draws the drunk as he goes around. And it keeps going until he falls out of the city. So I have my frame and my location size, all that stuff. Now on this one I actually made two drunk people, a drunk guy and a drunk girl. So the drunk guy is blue, the drunk girl is pink. I have a city grid that has two people in it. Add the grid, set visible. So now this is the animation component. I have a timer. I have it set to run at zero, which means it fires immediately. Then an action listener that listens to the timer. And the action performed when the timer goes off is we check to see if the drunk guy is alive and the drunk girl is alive. If either one's alive, that's the or. We then check to see if the drunk guy was alive. We tell him to make a walk. If the drunk girl is alive, the drunk girl walks. We invalidate our frame and repaint the frame so that our screen gets redrawn. Otherwise, if these two are both dead, we just stop our timer. So our timer adds an action listener, this, and we start it. So as the timer runs, it runs this, which redraws the screen as basically as fast as it can. Every time it redraws, the drunk guy walks and the drunk girl walks. My city grid extends a Jake component. It has the two people in there. I need to have a list of points to keep track of where they were because I draw, draw their entire path, not just where they currently are. And then my person has a direction they're going to go, where they're currently at, random number generator. This could actually be a class level variable, so it would be shared amongst the two different people, but right now it's not. So I create the person. When they walk, I get a direction. We switch the direction if it's north, south, east, or west. And then it returns the x and y, and this is how we know if they're alive. If x is greater than or equal to the low, then x and equal to the high, same with the y. These are the bounds of the city. And that's pretty much it. So here we'll run it once. And the blue is the guy who just died, and the pink is the girl. And the chip just went off the side too. So I'll run it one more time. Try and get it in the screen quicker. The guy died pretty quickly there. And there, the girl finally fell off the grid and died also. So this is an extension to the current trunk project. If you want to make yours like that, that would be cool. We draw some nice random images.